Oh, hey, thanks. You know, I've always wanted a surprise party, but somehow it's never happened. It's probably because I'm waiting for it, in which case it would never be a surprise, eh? <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, look, I'm just going to go to the loo, OK? Yeah, right. See you in a minute. Everyone. This is Leo. Hi. Hi. Uh, Leo, this is John. Cycles to process his aggression. Terry, who's looking for his inner shame, and Brendan, who's Irish. Hi. So, Leo, we usually get new members to begin by telling us a history of yourself as a man. How do you feel about your maleness? Proud? Ashamed? Ambivalent? No, I... Don't rush it. Just take your time. Today, we're going to be passing around the honesty stone. Oh, this is great. This ritual comes from Native American culture. The stones pass around clockwise. If it's given to you, you have to speak with absolute honesty about something which is on your mind. It's a liberating ritual. Try not to think of it as, as a test. It's an opportunity. John, why don't you just go first? Uh, I, I feel uh, tense and uh, uh, nervous. That's perfectly natural. Let the stone help you. Come, hold it. Hold it. Allow it to speak to you in its own way. Allow its energy to open the floodgates of your mind. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't speak. Take your time, John. Take your time. I, I, I feel like there's this uh, blockage, you know, in my throat. Oh, God. God! This didn't happen! Spontaneously rebirth. Uh, Terry, I want you to place your hand under John's neck in a supportive and loving way. Uh, yes, I'm going I'm to I'm faint. No, you are not going to faint. It's just, just your ego trying to protect itself. Stay with it. Oh, God, the, 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 the blockage has just, just moved on in my stomach. Leo, place your hand on John's stomach and support him and love him. Oh. My knees. Oh, God, the pain. Out of his knees. Let it go. Let it all go, John. Let these strong. Loving men heal you. Jesus Christ, the rich! Just if you want to shout and scream, shout and scream! Oh, oh, oh! Got my feet, my feet! Great! It's in your feet! John, try to imagine all the pain draining out of your feet into the nurturing earth, into the life giving sea. Oh! And now we focus on that wide Arctic silence. John, let it all out. Ah! Oh, God, there's a terrible banging noise in my head. It's a constant banging noise. Oh, God, make it go away. <laughs> It's my father! My father! My, fa my father! My father beat me! <laughs> it's okay, John. It's okay. It's fine. And it's, it's only now, in the company of this group of, 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 of men, that I can, I, can, I can finally face my grief. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> And then he died, you know, and, and I couldn't speak to him, and I had so many questions to ask him. Thank you, John. You, you, but, you, but why? Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah, nice one, John. Great, great job. Well, I was so illuminating. Nice. Yeah, it was great. Cheers. So, what's the guys? 
Oh. Right. Is it me next? Afraid so. Uh, that's a pretty tough act to follow, John. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an act. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Don't feel inhibited, Leo. It's the honesty stone. All you have to do is to be honest. I find a member of the group attractive. Who? Oh. Brendan. Oh. <clears throat> oh, can I pass the stone on now? Can you tell us a little bit more about your feelings for Brendan? Is the attraction spiritual, emotional, or physical? I'm, I'm going to start hyperventilating or anything, am I? Not unless you need to. No, right. Okay, well, I mean, I suppose on a spiritual level, I probably do have some affinity with Brendan. However, if I'm going to be um, completely honest about it, I have to say that there's there's a lot of sexual attraction there too. Oh, great, <laughs> great. Go on. Well, you want me to go into details? It's okay, Leo. I can't take it, you know. What exactly is it about Brendan that turns you on, Leo? Is there a particular body part? Well, um, I mean, I would say uh, what we've got here is a. It's a pretty hot package, really, you know, from head to toe. And, uh, and if Brendan were batting for the same team as me, as it were, then, um, then yeah, I'd ask him out. <laughs> Come on, guys, you know, don't make me feel like a freak. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's noticed that Brendan is... Well, he's a handsome man. He's all right. Well, who would have thought? Oh, God. Get off. Wonder how Leo's doing. Um, Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher, right. Um, in 1979, Margaret Thatcher moves into 10 Downing Street after a Tory landslide. Uh, I, I want to share something with the group. Share, share with us, Jane. Right, um, it all started when Leo was telling us about his feelings towards Brendan. You know, I, I'd never heard anyone speak with such a r refreshing directness about this particular t taboo subject. Yeah, I didn't think it was so refreshing. Well, th this is the bit that's really hard to say. I, um... Normal stone. John, would you pass Terry a harpoon, please? Sir? Got a very different energy from the stone. Very male. Try and. Yang, yang. So, I went home and I, I meditated deeply on, on my sexuality. You know, I really wanted to push myself to the very limits of self-discovery. And after I'd meditated, I, I knew what I had to do. What? I went to a news agency and I bought a magazine. Tell us about the magazine, Terry. It was a pornographic magazine. Yes. With pictures of men. Oh, Jesus Christ. Terry, you're doing very well. Let the harpoon help. Well, after I bought the magazine, uh, I took it home and I read it, and I, I, I looked at the pictures, and uh, I had a wank. 
And uh, how do you feel about that now? I feel great. I feel fucking great. I feel like uh, as if I, I'm discovering a, a, a part of, 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 of me that I, I, I never accepted before. I see. And uh, are, you, are you going to be taking this any further? What do you mean, John? I mean, it's bad enough I've got one in the sauna. Oh, God. Please. No offence, Leo, but, you know, I'm, I'm just beginning to get a tad concerned here. Oh, don't worry about it, John. It would have to be with someone I found remotely attractive. Do you know what my theory is? Do you know what I feel about men right now? No. Yeah, go on, tell us. I think men don't feel received by women. Mm, yeah. There's so much suspicion between the sexes. Y yeah, because we've made such a mess of it, uh, us men, haven't we? Of course, I'm a great Jungian, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. What this time yeah. was. And then I thought, what is all this bullshit? Mm. Yeah, anima, animus, masculine, oh, feminine. Excuse me, uh, Terry, could I have um, a word? Yes. Back in a sec. Uh. I mean, it's bullshit. It, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you as a gay man feel much the same. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> and of course, Jung was a complete pig with women. He was, yeah. I'm boring you. No, not at all. What the hell am I? Drama? Mm. They're talking about you. Are they? Mm-hmm. The good-looking guy seems very pissed off with your friend. Just a minute, wait a sec. Something, something. Break your nose. I'll break your fucking nose, matey. I <laughs> love that word, matey. <gasps> you lip-reading? I used to work with the deaf. Well, that's useful. He's coming over. You don't do mind reading, do you? I used to, but believe me, it's usually best not to know. Mm. I'm leaving now. All right. Do you want to come? Don't just stand there and go, oh, there's a little. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. So, what's that word when someone likes you but can't admit it? Denial. Yes. Well, Hiya. All right. Do you want some help with that? Hey, you need good firm ground for these ten pegs, eh? This is good. This afternoon, we shall be hunting and gathering for our evening meal. I brought no food. So if you can't find any... What do, what do you mean, you brought no food? I'm hyperglycemic. I could die. You can handle that, John. Remember, you're a man. Oh, who did this to you? Go on. Go on. What are you doing? Catch it! Come on! Come on, get after it! That was my devil! Oh, shit! What? Well, she's alive, man. How am I going to get out? Well, just relax. No! Look, look, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I could get tetanus. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to go and get some help. <laughs> Here, have a berry. Piss off, Adam. Hey! Terry's stuck in a bush! Now, there's absolutely no nutritional value at all, right? But you suck it, right? And it gives off this really nice flavor. Because I am going to die! I mean, it doesn't anyone care! Oh, my God. I feel fantastic. Help! One way takeaway. I haven't never brought right. Hold on, let's just get to eat. Can we have some king prawns, please? Six roast duck, six king prawns, four of it, two cases of, uh, of beer. You done with that? Yeah, 
Sorry, John, I didn't hear a word. All them stars? Makes you think. <laughs> God, the drumming. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> you know what? <clears throat> I think I could get quite into all this stuff. Don't be so British. You've got to learn to share your feelings. You can always share. I think Brendan's got something he wishes to share. Hmm. Brendan? No, I had a really great time. Yeah, but aren't you going to share it with us, Brendan? Hmm. Oh, that, uh, that was it, Terry. That was my sharing. No, no, that was shit, Brendan. That was shit. You slept with Leo, didn't you? Did you enjoy that? It's got to do with you, anyway. Was he any good, Leo? I mean, did you let him fuck you or what? It just sounded like someone was being fucked. Don't dare you speak like that! They're never press, eh? Oh, come on! Oh, come on, then! No, no! Get no, off no, 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 the head off! Get the head off! Get the head off! Get the head off! Get the head off! That was the best wild man weekend ever. Bloody noses. That's excellent. Terry. Would you like us to stop at a hospital to get it reset? No, thanks. I'll do it myself. Go on, give each other a hug. No. I'm not ready for that, Adam. Oh, incidentally, Leo and Brendan, I think it's really great that you two have got it together. <sighs> Brendan, are you listening? Uh? If I could have one wish, uh? it would be for you to be gay. But I don't think you are. And that's OK. that supposed to mean? You've changed your mind about me? <laughs> no, no, that's not what I meant. Well, well done. <sighs> How can you have been happily seeing women for the past... <laughs> past 15 years or so and, and not be straight? Huh? I thought I was straight, OK? Oh, and then you meet me and you have this blinding revelation. Oh, well, yeah. OK, you know, I don't look a certain way and we didn't meet in a bar. <laughs> oh, would you prefer it if we had? Hmm? <laughs> I think maybe you have one or two prejudices yourself. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> let, let me ask you something. 
Have you ever had a relationship with a woman? That is a very good question, Brendan. Thank you. Piss off, John. Leo, Brendan may have a point. Hmm? Maybe we should help you to explore it. I do think Keith is right, Leo. Do you? Ah, yeah, we're only trying to help you, Leo. Hey, God, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Come on, Leo. To, uh, to be completely passive, to give myself wholeheartedly to another person, to, uh, but to let go of all social conditioning and prejudice, you know? In fact, I... I don't think I've ever felt so close to another human being in my entire life. Wow. <laughs> you know, in a funny way, the experience has taught me something about women, too. I, I, I know that may sound absurd, but... But I feel closer to women, in a way, now. Am I making any sense? You're making a whole lot of sense, Brendan. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, does it hurt? <laughs> well, it, um, yeah, it felt a bit funny at first, you know. Um, but after a bit, you loosen up, and oh. but then you get to like it, and before you know where you are, you, uh, you can't get enough of it. Excellent. <laughs> well, where is he? Leo, uh, I don't know. Can I say something? Uh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Anyways, it's not about homosexuality, so, you know, maybe you won't be interested. <laughs> of course we're interested. <laughs> John, you're in a safe place. You're loved. Yeah, but that is just it. I don't want to be loved, not by men. All right. All right. Would you like to be liked? I know, I, I think what I really like now is just, uh, to leave. No, John, you know... Get! I think, I think that, that, that would make me feel a lot better. Bye. Oh, I'll see myself out. Interesting choice. I'm You're just jealous because I went out there and did it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, while well, you were still sitting at home with your muscle mag. Oh, that's a quite way of putting it. Oh, right, OK. Now you've done the gay thing. So it's back to the wife and the kids. Oh, right? Jesus Christ, you are so... Now, what is the point if that is the extent of it? Deeply twisted. Why not just pay someone to do all the twisted the, the and difficult stuff? Bitter, for yeah. You know, they could come home and they could give you little written reports. You fucker. You want to step outside, Paddy? Yeah. Yeah, right, I do. Good. It's about time I give you a smack. Those who don't need to fight, they need to fuck. You know, I think you may be right. Good. Come on, then. Come on. Oh! Oh, my God. Did I, did I hurt you? Oh, yes. Oh, Jesus. Right. Oh, God. Oh. You should never call an Irishman Paddy. You know that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just slipped out. I was going to call you dickhead. You know, Terry, um... I, I know this, this, uh, this great little pub just around the corner here that serves real Guinness. Would you let me buy you a pint? Oh, real Guinness? Huh? Yeah, that would be nice, sir. Come on, then. Have you ever been to Thailand? No, but I, I, I like the food.